Hello and welcome back to another Marachera's video and today I'm going to be showing you some of the new possible additions to the grounded game starting with the weapons. Now while scrolling through our discord, the link is in the description, someone posted a picture of the lizard boss that was cut which made me wonder if it still existed deep within the game files. So I started a little search and unfortunately there is nothing. Then after checking the grounded wiki on the cut content section I found a list of tools, weapons and bugs that well have been cut from the game so I started searching for them. I tried lizards, leeches and dragonflies to no avail but then when I searched in Earwig, unlike the others, it came up with bug parts and even this bad boy, an Earwig sword. Fortunately, I cannot pick it up and use it, but I managed to suspend it in midair just to get a good look at it, and it looks amazing. Which leads me to believe that apart from the rest, this may actually be coming to the game as some sort of boss or even a tier 3 creature. And for those of you who don't know what an Earwig is, it is this strange little bug here, so just imagine this walking around the garden. It's kind of, kind of terrifying. Now on the topic of weapons, some that are interesting come in the form of bombs. Maybe you've seen some of these before before, but I'm not sure. Again, I cannot use them, but I can sit and admire them, such as this spiky bomb. It looks sort of like a nail bomb, so once you throw it, I can imagine all of these little spikes you can see here come flying out and inflict shrapnel damage. And the other one is just a regular aphid at first glance, but as you can see, when I pan around, there is a little wick coming out of his body. So you can decoy your friends and other bugs into thinking that it's delicious little aphid and then it blows up, killing everybody. And that was just about everything I could find on the new weapons, but I did come across a few bugs, obviously earwigs being one of them, which would be very, very cool. I also found a creature card and a folder for something known as a shiny ant. Now this isn't anything to do with a card like a gold shiny ant card because I can spawn it in. It goes into my inventory as a normal looking ant head but with the writing saying shiny ant. So does this mean that we will see shiny ants running around the garden? Will they be fast like the scarab or will they be tougher than the regular one? And finally, a familiar face but just a little smaller, yes, as if diving bell spiders couldn't be annoying enough whilst exploring the deep depths of the pond, there is potentially going to be this little fellow. Yes, of course, it's a diving bell spider junior. Now it looks exactly the same in every aspect apart from being half the size and also has the same health as its bigger counterpart, which doesn't really make much sense. But it just goes to show that there could be more life in the pond yet and yeah it comes in the form of probably one of the most annoying pond creatures possible <laughs> uh, but that is all I've found so far though and obviously all of this is just speculation and going off of what I found in the game files so whether it will be implemented or not is still a mystery but we can only hope and I can only hope you enjoyed this short little video and that if you did you'll like and subscribe along with checking out some of our awesome content thank you and goodbye